Once when I was preaching, I made the statement that church people could be the meanest people ever. And a lady on the back pew got up and stomped out. Guilty conscience? Maybe so. That's what we're talking about today on Body Slammed. When you find a cancer on your body, you know what you do? You go in there and you, you cut it off. That way that cancer doesn't spread all over you and cause you big problems, even death. And there's a cancer in our church that I wish in a perfect world that we could just go in there and just cut it off and keep it from spreading throughout the body of believers that we have. I'll tell you a story about something that happened. A, a friend of mine who's also one of my managers, I did a wedding for him not long ago. And he was sharing this as I was encouraging him to go to church and trying to get him involved. He said, let me tell you about the last time I went. He said, I had not been in church in about 10, maybe even 15 years. And he said, this coworker friend just kept encouraging and inviting and begging and pleading. And he said, finally, I said, okay, I'll go. I'll meet you there. So he said, I went into the church. He said, I got there a few minutes early. So I walked into the sanctuary and he said, I looked around real uncomfortable because it's new and don't know anybody. And he's kind of a shy person. And he said, so what I did is I just went into a, a pew and I had a seat and I just sat there quietly waiting for my friend to arrive and for the service to begin. And he said, a man walked up to him and he said, the man stuck his hand out, shook his hand. And he said, you must be new around here. And he said, yes, sir. He said, I am new. He said, in fact, I, I'm brand new in town. He said, I've only been here about a year and I don't know anybody. And, and this is the first time I've ever visited this church. And he said, well, that was kind of obvious. He said, uh, I knew that because he said, if you were were, had been here very long, you would understand and you would know that this pew is my pew and my family and I sit here and I'm going to have to kindly ask you to get up and go find somewhere else to go. And he said, so I said, yes, sir, that's what I'll do. And he said, I got up and I walked out the door of the church and he said, I've not been back in church since. Now, is that a good reason not to go to church? Not really. I mean, that's, that's a good excuse not to go because you don't want to have to deal with, with crummy, stupid people. And those kind of people are in every church. I mean, just be honest, they really are. And, and in a perfect world, we could take those people and just bump them all out the front door and say, you know, we don't need you here. You're doing more damage than good in the body of Christ, but it's not a perfect world. In fact, it's a very imperfect world. With a lot of imperfect people. And I'm kind of one of them too. And uh, I wish that I could tell you that, that you could come to my church and you wouldn't have anything happen like that to you. But I'm not real sure that that would be the case. But in all truth, what you have to do is kind of kind of rise above it. And, and, and I don't have an answer for it. Uh, I know if, if I overhear or if I see or I'm witness to somebody acting that way, I try to make it up to that person by going and making it right. And, and then I make a point to talk to the one that was in the wrong as well. But, um, you know, you can't catch all of those things. There's always going to be some element of that. So... If you are one of them that has been burned, you've been hurt, you've been, you've been beat up by some of those mean people in churches, and there are a lot of mean folks there, um, I want to encourage you just to, to not let that keep you from going. And finally, if you're one of the ones that is causing all that trouble, that, that is the cancer in the body of Christ, would you just stop? If you're going to be that way, just get out. There, you will never know how many people are going to be in hell because of the way you're acting and the things that you're doing that are causing nothing more than, than just dissension and pain and hurt to the body of Christ. Just quit. Let's be a part of the solution, not a part of the problem. Let's go out there and let's find people and let's give them heaven.